and welcome to today's vlog. We're here in London and today we are going up the Tower Bridge. Um, we've got tickets for this, we bought them online. It's a beautiful day so we should be able to see for a while. So yeah, come along with us and I hope you enjoy it. So we've got to go to this arch, but look how busy it is. There's a view. This is from the road um, plot. So you've got the road over there. We're going up there. So this is the tower here and next to it is where we go inside and either buy your tickets or show your tickets. So there's two lines, the one nearest the fence is to buy your tickets but we've already got our tickets so we go in this lane. You can see if you buy tickets online you save quite a lot of time because this is a fairly big queue and like I say that's where you buy the tickets. So we're in but we've got to do 206 steps up. See you at the top. So we've come to the first bit of floor. It's a lot of stairs. What's this? Is this is the building the bridge. So yeah, this bit is a bit of a rest point. You can see how that is the tower structure. There's those two. More steps. What's this bit here? At least you've got a little place where you can have a little rest. You can take a lift if you need it. Oh, the site office. Off we go. So we're on one of the levels so you've got more to go up but just a point to note on this bit here there's a men's toilet the one down there's a female toilet <sighs> at least you only got to walk one way between the 1890s and the 1900s on this footage you also get a chance to see the first time we ever recorded tower bridge raising that took place in 1903 However, that wasn't the first time that the bridge opened. That took place nine years earlier, in 1894, after an eight-year building process with 432 construction workers. Now, why did we need a bridge here? As you can see in the footage, London was incredibly busy at the time. In 1803, roughly 100 years before this footage was taken, there had been a million people living in the city. However, by 1903, in this time, that had exploded to 7 million people. And the problem we were having was that there were too many people and too few bridges. So people couldn't get to where they needed to go. There were originally plans to widen London Bridge, which will be the next bridge along that you'll see when you get to the West Walkway. However, those ideas were quickly scrapped in favour of a more interesting solution with this bridge here. However, the bridge also had to be functioning for two different reasons, because trade was the most important thing at the time during this period. This was really the height of the British Empire, and London was very much the jewel in the heart of the British Empire. It had boats coming in from all over the world, from India, Australia and Canada, delivering goods, and it was absolutely essential that those goods could still get into this area over here, which is called the Pool of London, which is where all of the warehouses were to deliver the cargo that they needed to deliver. The bridge was designed by this man over here, Sir Horace Jones. His design was picked in a competition with over 50 different op options. However, it does have to be said that Sir Horace Jones was, in fact, one of the judges on the panel who picked which design would win. It's still true today that River traffic takes precedence over road traffic, so whenever a boat needs to go up the river, the road traffic has to stop to allow that to happen. At the, at, in 1952, they would use a boat to close it, and at one point, 
the road didn't close in time, and a red bus, the number 78, managed to get through before the road closed. Now, the bus driver had two choices, to go backwards or to floor it. He chose to floor it, and he jumped a three-foot gap, managed to get over to the other side, and he was awarded £10 for his bravery for that. The bridge opens today as long as it's 20. We've given 24 hours notice, and, the, and your boat is over nine metres tall. So if any of you have a boat and you're interested in going up the river, just send us an email. If you've got any questions at all, please don't hesitate to ask me or any of my colleagues. You'll see around Tower Bridge. When you're ready, you want to head down the East Walkway for views over East London and Canary Wharf. And then don't forget to head up the West Walkway as well, where you'll get the opportunity to, to see a thousand years of London's history all at once. You'll get to see the Tower of London, St Paul's Cathedral and more recent landmarks like the Shard. Thank you very much for listening. On the North Tower, on the East Walkway, obviously the South Tower, West Walkway, toi oh, toilets and lifts and more toilets. Oh, so here we are. So we'll go over there in a little while. We'll get a view of the window, out of the window for you in a moment. Let's go over here. There you go. That's where we were. Yeah, down there. Some information over here about the crowded London that she was just saying about. Yeah. And there's down there. It's quite busy. It is a Sunday. So down here is the glass floor. Oh, I'm going to walk on it in a moment. Here we go. Now this was built. This was put in in 2014. Oh my gosh, this is weird. No, I don't like this. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. So look, all the way down there. I went on it a little bit, but it does feel very strange walking on it. How does it feel, Glenn? This part of the bridge up here was originally for the pedestrians to walk across when the bridge was being lifted for the ships, boats, etc. Um, but it got lots of criminals up here and had to be closed to the public. Now it's open for us. Uh, people looking around it, it's tourists. And there you can see the other part over there that we're just going to go over in a minute. And there's the very top of it up there. How did you feel about standing on that walkway? It's, uh, yeah, I can see how it would be uh, a bit weird because it's, obviously it looks like yeah. nothing between you. Uh, yeah, I did not like that, yeah, but I'm a wuss. It would have been tested by Oh, I'm sure, yeah, yeah. So here is the other brick tower. Oh, look all the way up there. And we're going over to the South Tower next. To the South Tower, and then we'll do that. Yeah. Next, we're going to the South Tower. So over there, we've got the Shard, River Thames, the Walkie Talkie building. All down there. I think that's the HMS Belfast. And yes, there is another glass walkway over on this side. We've just been over there. And now we're on this side. That looks like St Paul's Cathedral to me. Can we go in? The next. Here's the next uh, glass floor. Oh, I'll walk on the side, I think. This tells you, this tells you about the glass floors. Oh, somebody's walking in front of me. There's them laying it. Out of that bit of it to come across to the engine rooms and gift shop, follow the blue line. And just like that, we're in the engine room. You have to have your bag searched again. There, and there's the stuff. We're in the 
the next room you've got another one exactly the same which must opposite and uh, must have were the other side And last but not least, we're back into the store. You get all sorts of things. I'm gonna look for a pin, but I'm not allowed to vlog too much, so I shall end it here and tell you about it after. So we've just come out, we've got a couple of pins. That was really good. Great experience there, learning all about the tower. I hope you enjoyed it. I will put the prices that we paid in the information below and any other information I can find for you. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, don't forget to like and probably just grab subscribe and join the Golly Vogs family. For now, bye!